go back to the establishment of the court, positive complementarity was the deal breaker. If it had not been part of the idea that the nation state took the primary onus for the uh, development of justice, or questions of criminal activity, then you wouldn't have had a court. The existence of the ICC has created expectations among victims that justice will be done whenever and wherever serious international crimes are committed. But of course, and despite all of its best efforts, the ICC alone cannot fulfill these expectations. Uh, the registry has focused up to this point on two-way communication, seeking not only to bring the trials closer to the affected communities, but also the voices of the affected communities closer to the court. But uh, what about the complementarity? So uh, again, thank you for uh, uh, having encouraged me to reflect complementarity. If, if, we, if we file, this is, a, uh, we, we say the last resort, but could be the last chance. So if we don't have in place this complementarity, it's very difficult to obtain the cooperation, uh, legally speaking. We are certainly not doing enough to promote complementarity. Um, sometimes I get the impression that people have almost forgotten about complementarity. Uh, promoting complementarity means strengthening national judiciaries. It means capacity building. It means systematic technical assistance. It means education. I think we're doing not enough of that. If the nation states which endorsed and ratified do not support the enhancement and the rebuilding of national court systems with all its capacity to investigate and prosecute under fair procedure, then its ability to implement positive complementarity will be badly restricted. We cannot think of complementarity in the traditional sense. We have to think of complementarity as being part of national capacity building in criminal justice. Judicial accountability in states emerging from conflict or from political violence often necessitate reform of the police or of the security sector. I think that we cannot start thinking of building judicial capacity in isolation without investing in broader security sector reform and reform of um, the law enforcement mechanisms. You don't have a program only for judges and one for prosecutors, defense counsels, police officers. You need a basic program for all of them. El acervo de conocimiento acumulado, particularmente por la fiscalía, estimamos es un capital valioso para los estados y para la humanidad. I commend very highly the paper for stressing the important role of domestic courts in the field of international criminal justice because they are the primary instruments for achieving justice. In other words, complementarity should become the driving force in international criminal justice. So many concerns exist about the fact that the ICC is in The Hague, and are, it is so divorced, seen to be so divorced from local realities. Is there not a place for um, regional bodies to deal with crimes of this nature, having individual criminal jurisdiction to complement both the efforts of national systems and the ICC. Why does Africa want to have a regional court dealing with international uh, individual criminal um, responsibility? That's the policy question. Is it that the ICC is being is seen as, as remote and far off? You know? <clears throat> and if that is so, I, I can see no problem at all at the political level of uh, the African court moving in that direction. Uh, however, theoretically, I would say, the, indeed, as, as, as stated, the uh, extension of jurisdiction is possible. But practically, still, I am, I'm a bit skeptical. Rarely have we seen states uh, in, in using the African uh, Human Rights Commission regarding violations that are occurring in other states, and, and therefore looking at whether they are likely to, 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 to take it on the uh, international criminal justice, I, I, I'm still a bit skeptical. Yeah,